Greetings. Uh, this is going to be a round video. So, as you can see, I've got a nice new background. Uh, it's green and it feels nice and it's easy to clean and what's most important, uh, that was the reason why I got it. It's It's got this nice matte finish so it won't uh, produce any glare from uh, overhead lamps that are just right above the camera. So, normally I've been using um, this. So, this is just a piece of... Uh, this is glass out of a scanner that uh, got basically dismantled and put into bin. I kept uh, what I thought it was useful and uh, this is the glass from the flatbed scanner and it it just comes handy. Uh, prevents me from cutting through the table all the time um, when I use some knife or whatever to cut something and, and whatnot. So I've been using this but because of the glare as you can see it reflects everything above the lights and uh, you can see the camera mount and everything else through here. Um, I've been usually put, uh, sticking a, uh, a sheet of vinyl over it, um, so that uh, made it uh, a little bit less glary, uh, didn't produce uh, the reflections um, that you can see right now. And that worked okay, but I wanted a nice uniform background, um, this wasn't always uh, large enough so you could see the other junk on the table and whatnot, so I wanted a clean a uh, nice clean background for here. So I got this off of eBay and um, what you see here uh, you may have uh, already guessed this uh, because this uh, this green color on, on eBay is quite common when you um, search for certain things. So this is a uh, dissipative ESD uh, mat. Uh, which is meant to be conductive and you meant to, it's meant to be good for working on electronics and things like that so you don't zap things especially in here I've got uh, carpet flooring and you know I don't really uh, pay much attention to ESD uh, I've never had any problems but uh, granted most of the time I take things take things to bits um, so uh, they don't have to be always working afterwards but Every once in a while I get something that I don't want to kill with um, elect electrostatic electricity uh, discharge. So I thought, you know what, this is this will be a good investment, uh, a few quid on eBay. Not a big deal, but um, yeah, this came in uh, a few days later after I ordered it. And it came with, it came with this. So this is uh, just a cable and it's got this funny arrangement on one side, on the other side you've got a banana plug with a uh, with a crocodile clip uh, to attach to a grounding point and this does come apart so this is just a clip uh, this bit um, you're meant to pick a point on your mat uh, that you want and bend those in forward, push it through the mat, bend them in so it holds it in place and then you can clip this uh, onto it to provide a connection to the grounding point and uh, um, this would um, ground the, the whole um, surface uh, over here and this there's actually nothing wrong with this so when um, when you check the cable just get the meter out there we go so this has got a one meg resistor built in uh, somewhere along the line, most likely molded into either the banana plug or the uh, the clip plug. And the clip is just something, uh, the arrangement you find on your winter coat. Uh, so it's just like a, literally a coat clip. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it would do the job, so there's nothing wrong with this. Um, now, the mat itself, the seller um, advertised this as, um, as being a conductive mat with a um, resist, uh, resistance or resistivity of uh, in the order of a hundred ohms or so um, and well a hundred ohms or so per what per square per per meter per millimeter per kilometer I don't know uh, but yeah it said it does have some sort of uh, resistivity uh, resistance per unit uh, let's call it so I got this and yeah, as you can see, this is on a 20, uh, 20 meg uh, range right now, and this is fully insulated. I can get those as close as I can get without touching, and it shows zero. Now, if I touch my two fingers, it will come up with, you know, 
my resistance uh, at this given point, uh, given moment. Um, but yeah, uh, just touching it to your finger shows well the meter is working, it's picking up things, but this is fully insulating. I can press as hard as I can and this this is junk, so this is not what was described. Um, it looks like in the picture, uh, on the listing, and it's got the uh, black rubber bag. Um, when it came it had a uh, thin uh, protective film on this, uh, just like a uh, kitchen foil cling film arrangement on the back, uh, which I pulled off. and. I can, and on the front it's it's got this uh, a little bit stiffer green um, green layer, uh, which is thin, but it's it's a lot harder, so it provides uh, a little bit wear resistance, um, not electrical resistance. Anyways, um, so you can see this uh, plugged in, and well, this is this is not resistance. That's my battery is dying in the meter. Cable touching. Yeah, so I can get those even closer and, and press those in. That's as soon as I touch it with my finger, it picks up my finger resistance. But immediately as I let go, it's 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 gone. There is this is not conductive in any way, shape, or form. In fact, it's actually a pretty good insulator. Um, so, as far as ESD mod, this is absolutely um, useless. So it might be okay for my purpose because, well, the primary reason why I bought it uh, was to get uh, get a nice uh, matte finished background with a uniform color. Um, but what I actually paid for was uh, to have the electrostatic uh, discharge matte that would, you know. Serve its purpose. Serve its serve its its purpose. Well, when I do some work on things, and this is junk. Now you've got to be careful when you buy stuff on eBay. And this is this is an example of something that is not fit for purpose. Do not confuse this with when something is just bad quality. Uh, you know, when you buy some something for for cheap, if it's rubbish quality. I don't mind that, you know, you, you get what you pay for, pay for essentially, and if it's rubbish, if it's made out of cheap materials, but it serve, serves the purpose, even if it serves the purpose for 10 minutes or once, or depending on the situ situation, yeah, that's fine. There's no problem with it whatsoever, This this, it is what it is, you know, if you want something that's going to last for a long time, you know, spend the money, get something proper, expensive, name brand, and yeah. There you go, you'll have it for a long time, but if, if you buy something cheap, if you buy um, something for a couple of quid and it turns out to be shit, well, that's what it is. This is what you got, uh, this is what you paid for, and essentially, as I said, I don't mind that. If you buy cheap stuff, expect it to be cheap, um, not only in terms of the cost, but in terms of quality. This, however, is not the case. You know, if this was, uh, if this was cheap, um uh, I don't know, maybe it would wear out and fall apart after two months and the rubber could decompose and all sorts of junk, rubbish, horrible things might happen to it, which is fine. I would have thought, okay, you know, if you get a cheap mud, this is what happened to it. This is what will happen to it, but this is not fit for purpose. This essentially is not conductive mud, which it was adver advertised as. So this stuff really annoys me, you know, if you're trying to sell something on eBay, at least be honest. You put it out on on a listing, at least be half clever with it and you know say you're selling an electrostatic discharge mat wire and a green mat made out of rubber. You know, that would be fine, that would fit the description. Yes, it would be a little bit deceiving, but it would be um an accurate description of the item and you know what you, when you buy stuff on eBay always read the listings uh, very carefully uh, before you actually buy something because you know some people do actually put the listings out 
descriptions in, in a very careful way, not to, um, you know, get caught out on this. Now, on the listing that I got this from, they've actually gave you the resistance in, in ohms, 105 to 109 ohms, and I think that's their problem. Um, so, they're selling something that they've got no idea what it is. They've probably got a, um, a large amount of this, uh, and it looks okay, it looks like an electrostatic mat. Possibly it might be. I mean, it's, it's it's a mat, okay. And eBay is flooded with this right now, um, and it's been for some time. There is different um, sizes you can buy. I think they've got just like, massive rolls of this, and they just cut it to size to to different lengths and stick one of those cables in in a pack with with each of them. So be careful uh, when you buy stuff from eBay. If you want to buy an electrostatic discharge mop, uh, mat. Uh, yeah, uh, spend the money and avoid this green uh, crap because it's not uh, electrostatic discharge mat. Uh, if you if you're planning on working on something uh, sensitive and trying to protect it from falling apart, this is not going to work. This is uh, yeah, this will probably make the mat as worse because it's as I said fully insulating, so this will be building up charge um, on the surface. Um, so you're likely to zap your precious electronics. So. Yeah, uh, as far as eBay, yeah, just be careful of uh, what you look at. Uh, many times it's uh, it's a bargain, but sometimes it's uh, it's just not fit for purpose. Now, as far as my purchase, I'm not too worried. I've uh, actually reported the, I've took some pictures with the multimeter and sent it back to the seller. I'm going to report the uh, item as uh, not as described, and uh, yeah, I'll get my money back uh, probably by. Uh, end of day tomorrow but uh, yeah be careful and that's all for this one take care